This guy is just making it too easy. Too easy, Trump supporter. Uh, here's a warning. I have tried to be nice in my last videos and tried to keep it to just talk of uh, election procedure and tried to be fair, but since you've decided to use the comment section to call me every name in the book, I'm going to take the gloves off and I'm going to use this video to put you exactly in the place you deserve to be. Now here's your boy, the Great Pumpkin, with his little signed pledge. This is something the Republican Party required of him. After the first debate, when he refused to pledge to support whoever the eventual nominee was, like all of the other Republicans did, they said, look, Mr. Trump, if you want to have the R by your name, this is what you have to pledge to do. And here he is signing it. He's got his name, his signature on it. He refused the pledge in August on stage, and then September, a month later, he agrees to do this. Okay? And, of course, he backdates it to August 3rd, like we wouldn't know, notice that. And signs the pledge. But, of course, the rules don't apply to your boy. The rules don't apply to Donald Trump. Because when he finds out that, oh, my goodness, you know, Ted Cruz might actually win this, he goes on Anderson Cooper and then says, no, no, if I'm not the winner, I'm not going to, to honor my pledge. I don't care what I signed. I don't care about the piece of paper I signed. I don't care about the requirement that the Republican Party told me that I had to make a pledge. No, no, my, my pledge is to the Republican Party. Those are up for my decision. They're, 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 they're not binding. You know, if I sign a piece of paper saying I'm going to do something, then no, I'm not held to it, of course. I can do whatever the hell I want to do. Even though I sign a piece of paper and put my name to it and pledge to do something. So I find it ironic, I really do, that somehow he can talk to an elector, almost all of which have been members of the Republican Party all of their adult lives, that have dedicated their lives to the party. He's been a Republican for, what, five minutes? Oh, wait, yeah, of course, he was a Reform Party guy, and then he was a Democrat, and then he was a Republican, and then he was a Democrat, and then he was a Republican. It's hard to keep track of who, who he was, you know, and when he was, and when it decided to be convenient for him to assign himself the title of Republican. But here he is holding up his, his happy little piece of paper that he decided to renege on his pledge Seriously, and now he can, has the audacity to tell electors that they have to be bound to vote for him based on their pledge, based on their pledge to vote for him? Really? Really? Obviously the rules don't apply to you. You can take back your pledge, Mr. Trump, can't you? But you can then, of course, insist that lifelong Republicans who've made their quote-unquote pledge to the Electoral College that they have to. They don't get to look at it at the time like you do and make a decision as to whether or not they're going to honor their word. Covenant breaker. Oath breaker. You know, there's lists online I'm not even going to cover here of all of the different times that you've signed contracts with people and gone back on paying them. This one is good enough because this is the, this is the relevant one, Mr. Trump. You even had the gall and the temerity to call out Lindsey Graham and Jeb Bush, lifelong Republicans. Remember the two failed presidential candidates, Lindsey Graham and Jeb Bush, signed a binding pledge? They broke the deal. No honor. Really? Taking back a pledge? Taking back a pledge? No honor, Mr. Trump? Really? So, so which is it? Is the Electoral College a disaster for democracy like it was for you in 2012? Or is it now genius when it's supposedly working for you tentatively? And this is really, everybody knew what Donald Trump was. Everybody knew going back to the 80s. That's why he was a joke. This video is for Trump supporter that likes to troll me and call me names and say I don't know what I'm talking about and say that I don't understand what the Constitution says. I would really love to have a Trump supporter go down here in the comments and tell me why it's perfectly okay for Donald J. Trump to renege on his pledges, renege on his pledges with his name, his signature to do something, and then a, six months later go back on that pledge because he doesn't think he's being treated fairly or he doesn't like how things are going. 
That's perfectly okay for your guy, for Donald Trump, isn't it? But, oh, an elector? No, that's absolutely, completely unacceptable for those people to not honor their pledge. Even though Article 2 of the Constitution gives them full and complete control over their decision, which you're going to find out here in the courts very soon. We have one standard for Donald Trump, but we have another standard for everybody else, don't we? Don't we, Trump supporter? So really, go down in the comments and write your little two and three paragraphs trolling comments about why he has one standard for him and another standard for the electors. Please, I want to hear it. I want to hear you actually with a straight face say that it's okay for Donald Trump to break his pledges, to break his written pledges to do something when it's convenient for him, but then when it's not convenient anymore to take back that pledge. Kind of like the thing with Miss Clinton. First he wanted to put her in jail, then he said, oh, she suffered enough, but then he got some meat for that, so oh, maybe now it's back on. We're going to build a wall down the whole southern border. Well, maybe it's going to be a fence. Oh, you know, we'll have to take a look at it. We're going to repeal and replace Obamacare. Well, we're going to leave some things in and maybe take some other things out. We don't know. We'll have to take a look at it when we see. We're going to drain the swamp, and we're going to get all the money out. Oh, except for my two Goldman Sachs mortgage bankers that I'm going to have assisting me, one Secretary of the Treasury, Steve Mnuchin, one chief advisor, Stephen Bannon. I mean, seriously, I really want Trump supporter. Please, please comment on this video. Please tell me why we have one standard, one standard for the people in charge and another standard for the little unwashed masses, electors like us. Why you think that's perfectly okay. Why his, his signed pledges shouldn't have held any water why it was perfectly okay for him to take back his pledge. I want to hear that, Trump supporter. Seven minute video. Go.